The U.S. Air Force is seeking information for a new Sentinel Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM re-entry vehicle. The Department of Defense intends to issue contracts for the Next Generation Re-Entry Vehicle NGRV, in 2026, the Air Force said in a solicitation notice. The service is already developing a separate Sentinel re-entry vehicle, the MK-21A, along with Lockheed Martin. The MK-21A will carry the W-87-1 nuclear warhead, an upgrade on the W-87 carried by the Minuteman III ICBM MK-21 re-entry vehicle. The Sentinel will host both the MK-21 and the MK-21A. The Northrop Grumman developed missile will start replacing the 50-year-old Minuteman in 2029, with full deployment expected by 2036. The Sentinel will have a modular design and open architecture, ensuring reduced life cycle cost, flexibility in components, and capability improvements throughout the weapon's life. The NGRV will provide enhancements in accuracy, lethality, survivability, the service wrote without providing further details. The service plans to deploy one warhead on each Sentinel. However, multiple warheads, two or three, could be considered in response to the evolving security environment, the U.S. Congressional Budget Office wrote in a report. The report further argues that deploying multiple warheads in a missile allows the service to strike multiple targets with fewer missiles. The multiple independent re-entry vehicle technology employs multiple warheads to strike different targets simultaneously. Moreover, the maneuverable re-entry vehicles can shift trajectory during the final flight phase, making them harder to intercept. 